Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching a very special four part series where I make over a subscriber's entire apartment room by room. Come along for this epic adventure with Team AG and I as we make this subscriber's rental feel like home. Welcome to the show everybody. This is exactly what I had in my head. Sorry, I can't. Oh my. my. No. It's all happening. I know, I'm quitting. We made it to the end. Come on in. <laughs> Roll the music, sound man. <laughs> this month, I'm releasing a video every single Saturday. The last video of the month is going to be Kate's reaction to this whole makeover. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any episodes. So far, we have made over Kate's living room. It's feeling very cool girl in here, very like New York apartment. And now it is time to tackle an extension of the living room, this little office nook. So when I first met with Kate over on Zoom, we went room to room to talk about what's working, what's not working. And here's what she had to say about the office. I love that you've converted this little space. I'm guessing it may have been the dining room at one point, but I think it's like the perfect size for a home office. For me, because I work full time and then I'm also in school, having a nice space to sit in is like more important than like a big dining room. Yeah, that makes sense. I love the desk. It's facing outwards. I just think it opens up the room. Love that you positioned it that way because I always say that in videos. I'm so glad you didn't just like press it up against the wall. It looks also more like sophisticated that way. Like you know what you're doing, you know? Thank you. I try. I just like steal ideas from you basically. <laughs> So the Mac doesn't really work that you're looking at on the desk. It just helps when I'm like grading papers, but like it's really poor quality. So if you wanted to do something else, I wouldn't be upset with it. Okay, and then in terms of like storage, it doesn't look like you have any. <laughs> yeah. Do you need storage? And like, what would that look like for you? What would you need to store? The only thing I really have to keep is like papers and things that I'm working on. I always thought about doing like floating shelves with like a couple of my favorite book kind of things, but. And then walk me through those Ikea wardrobes in the hall. Such a good use of that hallway space. Talk me through what you store in there. Is that all your clothes? The first two is like all my jackets. And then the next one is my linen closet, so to speak. The next one is just kind of like a wasteland. Like my picnic basket is in there, like <laughs> cleaning supplies, some like olive food and like litter. Great. Yeah, the wardrobes are quite functional there. Okay, let's move on to your overall kind of vision for the space. Maybe like light, breezy bedroom and living rooms, and then like a more fun splash of color, bolder kitchen and office. Okay, I love that. I like painted one of my walls pink because I copied one of your videos and then I had zero follow through beyond that. So now I just have like a pink wall and it's like tied to nothing, but. What kind of patterns do you like? Maybe not like something like so rigid and like geometrical. Yeah. More like movement. I know exactly what you mean. More bohemian, more kind of casual. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it from me. I'll meet you in person on reveal day, which is so wild. <laughs> it is, yeah, that's wild, okay. Bye. Kate's overall inspo for this apartment is just happy. It's filled with pink hues, green tones, fun pattern. And I decided to go neutral in the living room space so that I could really have fun with a bold patterned wallpaper in this office. It's a small space, so I wanna make it impactful. I wanna make it feel happy and also functional for Kate to work in every day. So here's my plan for Kate's office. Let's start with this gorgeous pink wallpaper. Kate had painted this office nook pink and I wanted to keep that color in here, but bring it in through wallpaper. It's bold, but the muted pink tones in the color of the wallpaper keep it feeling like soft and just really pretty. I love how the scallop detail on the bottom of this beautiful pendant light really plays with the wallpaper in a really fun, complimentary way. This desk as well kind of has those like organic shapes to it. It's going to fill this office nook, give Kate tons of workspace, and also has added storage in it as well. This very neutral jute rug is really gonna anchor this nook. Right now, the rug is too small in here and it's making this nook feel much smaller than it actually is. I have tons of space to work with. 
with. These IKEA wardrobes are so functional. I'm gonna keep the IKEA wardrobes exactly where they are, but I wanna build them in so they look much more intentional and like they're just gonna live here forever. I really wanna bring in as much texture, color, and pattern as possible, while at the same time keeping it feeling calm and almost minimal. We're not adding a lot of stuff in here, but everything I am bringing into this office nook is going to count. I wanna just keep the living room and office feeling like they flow together really nicely, but that they're two distinct spaces at the same time. The seasons changing has always been a really hard time for me, especially because it gets darker so much earlier in the fall and the winter. Even though I just wanna hibernate during this colder season, one of my non-negotiables is weekly therapy sessions. I'm so happy that BetterHelp is sponsoring this video. Therapy is so important for my mental health and I wanna make sure everyone can access it. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen to you and give you helpful, unbiased advice. It's easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist, there is a link in my description box that you can click on. It's betterhelp.com slash gator. To get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with your therapist in as little as a few days. You can have your therapy sessions via phone call, video chat, even through messaging if that is most comfortable to you. You'll be able to schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you, and you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance or anything like that if your first match doesn't feel right. If you're struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in my description box to get 10% off your first month. So to prep Kate's entire apartment, but also this little office nook, Jay Davis painted everything white. They are such an amazing paint company. If you are looking for trusted professionals that get the job done, but do it so meticulously and beautifully, consider reaching out to Jay Davis. We just love working with them. And to be honest, there is nothing like fresh white walls. Okay, hi guys, it's day one of the office makeover and I'm so excited, especially to see the wallpaper on the wall. That's what we're doing today, right? We're doing the little wall, right? No, <laughs> we're doing all the walls. All the walls? Yeah. All the walls? I thought it was one wall. One, two, three. I thought it was two, I'm learning oh. three. Well, this is like, this isn't even a wall. It's like a mini wall. But it's gonna make it hard. Okay, well. I'm really excited to get started. Um, let's get the wallpaper up. Get a friend and set aside some time. Hanging wallpaper is a two person job. You'll get set aside friend. some time? Yeah, which is How much time. <laughs> Unroll each strip so that they face the same way. If labeled A, B, A, B, or A, B, C, A, B, C, organize the rolls in this pattern. You lost me at the A, B, C, D. <laughs> yeah, you lost me too. I think we're ready. I can't wait to see how this turns out. This wallpaper is from Samantha Santana. This is a water activated removable wallpaper, so it's different than what we've used before. We need to use water to activate the stickiness on the back. So we are using a spray bottle to cover the whole back with water. Think of this wallpaper like a giant stamp. To get this wallpaper off the wall, what you would do is just use water to remove it. We are folding the wallpaper in half as per the instructions. This is going to let the adhesive activate and we're gonna let this sit for five minutes. Two minutes and six seconds left. Voice name equals calm, Apple eloquence and US flow. One minute remaining. Voice, oh. speak. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say speak. is the one minute remaining. <laughs> Activation sequence complete. <laughs> okay, let's get this on the wall. Oh, I'm scared. So we need to start with the top. The top folded half on the wall. We get that in position and then we take, and then we, uh, I don't know. Top half first. Yeah, let's get on the wall. You know yeah. what? That feels moist in a good way. <laughs> Okay, the first panel is always the hardest to get up, but we did it and it's looking really good. Oh, oh I'm like right in front of you. Two minutes, 31 seconds. My reminder says mail James's card because everyone, it's James's birthday. Today? 
Saturday, I think. We are repeating this same process for all the panels to cover this whole nook with wallpaper. We are using painter's tape to keep the panels in place. To be honest, this wallpaper has proven to be harder than our usual peel and stick installation. I wouldn't recommend using this wallpaper if you're a beginner. If you are, definitely have another person on board to help you. Last piece. Last piece. I like how you're holding up these signs too. Oh yeah, last piece. We did it. It looks so good. We have to wait until it dries to trim the edges, so we're probably gonna do that tomorrow. In the meantime, we are going to build in these wardrobes. I really wanted these to look as built in as possible. So the gaps here are making this feel really unfinished. Graham, did you get MDF from the hardware store? That's the economy pack of like three and a half inch by five eighths inch trim. Cut it down to size so that it fits underneath here and it's gonna just make it look a lot more polished. I just cut some blocks. Mm -hmm. That's the same size as this leg here. Yeah. So that like the flimsy like MDF will have something to sit against. Cool. Nail time. Nice. nice. Tomorrow we're gonna wood fill and then paint on top so they're all uniform and nice and clean and white and crisp. And then I'm also gonna change the handles. We have a lot more coming for this office. Furniture, lighting, all the fun things. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay, it's a new day and this wallpaper dried so nicely. I think we were all a little bit nervous that it was just going to have fallen off the wall in the middle of the night. Cue the, the James tape. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, what? This is the situation. Yeah, dried really nicely. I'm gonna start by trimming the edges of the wallpaper now that it's dry. Whoa, look how clean that is, Carla. Look at that. Okay, so now that we've got the trim in place on the wardrobes, they're looking a little more intentional, a little more elevated. It's kind of wild what trim does to build in Ikea pieces and like how that totally changes the look. With these wardrobes, I really wanted to show you how you could elevate them with some trim and some new knobs. These are so gorgeous. They're like down below. So I'm gonna add these to each door. So let's install. That reminded me of my, like my Disney moment, you know, like what did they say? Yeah. But Hillary Duff going like, <laughs> oh, it's a mouse. <laughs> oh, it's mouse bit. ears. Yeah, it's mouse oh. ears. There you go. <laughs> I'm Alexandra, and you're watching Disney. <laughs> hey, Amanda. <laughs> Okay, so Graham has hardwired the new light in. It's hanging very low because I'm gonna be swagging it over the desk, but I need to put the desk in in order to know the height. We're gonna get a beautiful shade on it. It's gonna look so good. In the meantime, I am going to put the new rug down. So I wanted to go with a more neutral rug in here because the rug in the living room is a little bit busier and I really wanted the wallpaper to have its moment, but then we have the pink accent around the border to like tie in the pink tones on the wallpaper. Next up, I am bringing in this gorgeous desk from Article. I was just thinking how much bigger this office looks already. Remember how Kate kind of had her desk angled in the corner and it just felt so cramped. But I feel like having it here, she can see out the window, there's natural light coming in. I don't know, it feels bigger in here. I'm also obsessed with how this desk has hidden cord management. We're gonna plug in a light for Kate. She can put all her cords in here. There's storage on the side. It's all happening. This gorgeous light is from Mitzi. How beautiful, I need this. I'm gonna put a bulb in it and then we're gonna swag it over the desk. That is so pretty. Okay, now bringing in this gorgeous desk chair, also from Article. 
doesn't this just make you want to work? Like, yeah, y'all want to work. Yeah. You better work. <laughs> you better work. If you watched my parents' makeover, you know I used this company, Elise Designs. I used their little shoe entryway cubbies. They also sell shelves, shelf cubbies, for offices, bedrooms, playrooms, all the rooms. And I thought these would be so great along this wall. I've already hung a couple of them to put like notebooks, pens, chargers, computers, like all those things that Kate just wants to tuck away at the end of the day. Okay, let's install the last one. Okay. Okay, next up is art. This is from Minted. I love Minted. I wanted to find a piece that was like impactful, but didn't compete against the beautiful bold wallpaper. This gorgeous table lamp is going on the desk and let's hide the cord together. This is so satisfying. So good. Okay, this bar cart fits perfectly here. I played with the idea of putting it maybe in the living room under the mirror, but it just didn't fit there. This really is the spot it's meant to be, and it fills the space really nicely. I'm starting with some of Kate's bar glasses. I'm adding a few wine glasses, some of her spirit bottles, and below I'm placing an ice bucket and a shaker, giving her all the bar necessities she may need. We made it to the end. It's time for the finishing touches. I'm placing a pen holder on top of the desk, adding some magazines to the shelf, placing some baskets on top of the closets for extra storage, and finally laying a cute blanket over the chair. Okay, so let's take a look at what this little office nook looked like before. It was feeling really cramped, much smaller than it needed to feel. The furniture was kind of pushed up into the corner. It didn't feel welcoming to work in this space. Close your eyes on the count of three. One, two, three. I love how the colors in this office complement the living room so nicely, and yet it stands on its own at the same time. It's bold, it's beautiful, it's functional. So next week, we will be back with another episode. We are making over Kate's entire kitchen. I want you to take a look at the pores of this space. What are we gonna do? Well, friends, this was probably one of the biggest kitchen transformations we've ever done. In this episode, you will see me almost quit. It was dramatic, it was tense, but overall, this transformation, you guys are not ready for it. I will see you back here next Saturday for the premiere. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Can't wait to see you next weekend. Bye. You're my little boo thing. I don't give a hoot what you do say, girl, I know. You're a little too tame. I be shooting my shot like a 2K girl, I know. Tell him I'm, tell him I'm next. Tell him you said something so fresh. I don't know. Tell him you found a little something too fresh. Right, right. I know. Tell me, tell me you found something a little too fresh. I know. Yo, yo, my little boo thing. <laughs>